I use Google Drive to store everything, which is why I have 2 terabyte of storage. In this video, we'll get to know the Android Google Drive app to help you store files quickly. So, let's begin. This is the interface. Usually, home is the main screen. Here we find the recently opened files on any device. If you go to this activity, this is where we find our tasks. For example, if someone mentions you in a comment in Google Docs file, you'll see it here. This works across Google Apps only. Tap this button to see the options. Tap here to go to the file location. This is the start section to see your favorite files. When you have hundreds of files, starting the ones you open regularly will make things faster. This is your shared screen to see all the files that have been shared with you. Lastly is our directory. You will find all your files and folders here. Let's upload some files. We have two ways to do that. First is from the Drive app itself. Tap this new to see the options. If you want to create a folder first then tap here, give it a name and create. The second method is clicking this share button in a supported app and choosing drive from the list. You can change the file name, location and account if you have multiple. Then save to save it. We can also create Google Docs, Sheets and Slide documents from this interface and clicking one will open the supported app to uh, edit the document. Downloading files is pretty straightforward. I don't think we can download folders in the app but uh, files can be downloaded by tapping this and then the download button. Then the progress is in the notifications. When the file is fully downloaded, we will no longer see the progress. The file should be downloaded in the downloads folder. Sharing is one of its best features. We can share files and folders and then can see and manage them here. To share a file or folder, go to its menu and then share. We have to put in the recipient's email to share with them. Another option is sharing it with the public. We'll explore that option soon. We can share a file with uh, multiple people. Once you have added a name, these options appear. Editor can edit the file or files in the folder. Commenters can view and comment on files. The viewer can only view those files. You can choose to notify them or not. We can't change the permission for every single person. You will have to share the file separately. Add any message that will be emailed to them with the file link. The other option is creating a link. Anyone with that link will be able to work on the file according to the set permissions. Either tap here or here and then manage access. Then click restricted and again and then choose the second option. Here set the access level. Lastly click the link to copy it and share it. We can stop sharing the shared files and manage the access by going to the three dots and then manage access. Here remove users and change the access to restricted to stop sharing the file. To manage access for the files that have been shared with you, check this screen. To remove yourself or someone else, manage access here. Sometimes random people will share files with you without your consent. Some of those are captured and sent to the spam folder. We can see them here. Never ever download files from an unknown person to your device. Now we know that uh, Drive comes with uh, limited storage. You can see the remaining here. Tap on it to see a more detailed view and which app takes what amount of storage. We can clean up to save storage by tapping here but uh, this goes to the Google One website. You can also download the Google One app to see and clean up storage across all Google apps. Now we are moving to some quick but efficient features of this app. If you want to have access to a file all the time, ensure to check this make available offline option. This will make a copy of the file on the device all the time. You can go to the menu and then offline to see this file even when the internet is not connected. 
Each folder in drive can be color changed. This is to organize your drive and also help you find the folder quickly. We can also create shortcuts of a file or folder in any other folder. To do that go to the menu and create a shortcut. Then choose where you want to create it. You will see the shortcut and can open the file from this folder. Another feature is adding a shortcut to the home screen. Tap this option and then add. So Google Drive does not support mobile or media backups but all those are still saved to your Google account. To see the phone backups we need to go to the menu and backups. Here are the details of all the phone backups. We can see the backup files here but obviously we can't open them. There are some quick settings here to explore before we end this video. We can manage the storage and backups. The backup is done by Google One so you can tap here to backup your phone now. You can allow notifications to update you and choose the device theme as well. If the app is unable to download and upload files you can clear the cache. Finally leave this checked if you only want to upload files on Wi-Fi. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Please share if you need any help. See you later. Take care.